So I got all these uh, responses to my the tribulation or the pre rapture, pre tribulation rapture, uh, <clears throat> is false prophecy. A lot of people are quoting me verses from the Bible, but they're taking things out of context. Uh, one was pointing to uh, Jesus saying that you know he would save you from the hour of temptation, but that's not the rapture. It's talking about a Christian code of conduct when it's read. Um, <clears throat> because you got to read the entire chapter, the entire uh, section of the Bible, not just pick and choose verses. That is how you get false prophecy. That is a lie. I understand why people want to perpetrate that lie. They're comfortable in the idea that they will not have to suffer. Except one of the tenets of Christianity is long-suffering. One of the tenets of Christianity is to suffer uh, for God. You know, the disciples, these uh, 11 guys who walked with Jesus, they all died horrible deaths. And they suffered imprisonment and a great deal of things. The, the believers that they evangelized uh, also suffered as well. Yeah. And so, what makes you think that you're going to get out of it? What makes you think you're saved? Oh, well, the Bible, the, the Bible out of context is a lie. The Bible out of context is manipulation. There's a post on Facebook where someone said we should end all uh, religion because it would end all uh, of these wars and everything. Somebody else pointed out that Nazism and communism, which led to major deaths uh, throughout the 20th century, was uh, the result of secular, non-religious belief. But if you want to take religion out of it, you might as well take belief out of it. And so within that context, you can't take belief out of something. Whether you believe in the government or God or yourself or whatever, you create the religion of me or the government or, um, you know, a religion built around God. And I know there's all these denominations of the church and everything else. People go with what they're more comfortable with. The problem is when you become a scripturalist, when you go by just what the Bible says and nothing else, you tend to, um, realize that every denomination is wrong. Now, every denomination serves a purpose because they tell you that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is God. Um, and that he died for your sins. So in that way, it can every denomination of Christianity, every sect of Judaism can lead you towards salvation. As long as it leads you towards Jesus Christ. The thing about it is, you can't have... Christianity without Judaism. And if you're truly going to be a scripturalist, um, then you need to look towards Judaism because Judaism is the root of Christianity. This isn't looking towards the rabbinical, Pharisee, uh, Talmudian teachings. Um, this is looking to the scripture, the prophets, the law of Moses. Um, those things. Because those are the starting point of the path that leads you there because there were all these things that the Messiah must fulfill, all these prophecies that he must fulfill, and you can't get them without the Jewish prophets. And so for all you people that are like, oh, it's okay, we'll be raptured away and we'll never suffer and all this other stuff, it doesn't happen that way. Read the Bible. 